Hi, my name's Vicky. And I'm Mikey. And we done the London to Paris for Simply Spencer. Um, what was it about the um, cycle that you kind of inspired you to take part? Well, it was my idea. Um, I've always wanted to do it. I say always, um, probably for the last maybe five or so years I've wanted to do it. Um, it was, I've always been into cycling. I love it. I like doing long distance rides. I never did road cycling before this event. It was always off road. So I was doing cross country and mountain biking. But I fancied the challenge. And I was always going on about it to Vicky and she dragged me through a lot of different running events because she's a runner. Uh, and I did a couple of half marathons with her and I thought it was time for us to do a bike ride. But I didn't actually book it, Vicky did. She As a Christmas she, surprise. Yeah, she did it as a surprise gift for Christmas <laughs> and then sprung it on me. And then shortly afterwards she realised that what she put herself in for. And she had to do it as well, so. <laughs> yeah. So what was the um, training like, Vicky? Um, I had to do a lot more training than Mikey because I probably longest I'd cycled would have been about 10 miles. Um, I cycled to and from work two or three times a week which was 48 miles round trip um, and that definitely got us ready. We also signed up for some sportive events which anyone thinking of doing like a London to Brighton or a London to Paris definitely recommend it. Um, it's really good practice, you get to see kind of what the layout will be, what the day will be like, what facilities they'll be there for you. Um, but th the training was tough, but it was definitely worth doing to prepare me for the actual challenge. Um, and when it came to the fundraising, um, were there any aspects of that that you found quite daunting? For me personally, yes. Vicky's really not really a stranger to fundraising because she's done a lot through through the recent years. But, but for me, I've only ever done small events. I've done the cycle for Cynthia before and I raised a small amount of money for that. Um, but I've never had to raise that amount. So for me, it was very daunting. Um, it, it ended up being quite easy um, t to raise the money. We, we thought that it was going to be a struggle and we thought, well, if it comes to the end of it, then we can put in the rest of the money ourselves. Yeah. Um, but we done one event, I'd done one event at my work. Um, all my colleagues were really supportive. Uh, my work matched it pound for pound as well, but I done a, um, a raffle and like a samosa sale and some bits and cakes and that actually raised the majority of the money so we didn't need to get that much sponsorship and we ended up raising I think about 1,500 more than what we needed, we needed to. Yeah. What was amazing was the raffle we wrote to all the local businesses around Northamptonshire and all of the prizes that they donated were amazing. We got mm. some really, really good prizes, yeah. didn't we? And I think if it wasn't for that, then the raffle wouldn't have been as popular yeah. and then we wouldn't have raised so much. So we have them to thank for it, really. Yeah, and definitely. your work. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what was the actual um, London to Paris like? How did it start off? I'll let you take that. Because <laughs> you enjoyed it so much. The <laughs> first day is the longest day. Um, you do the majority of the cycling in England, um, down to the ferry and then you've got a short ride the other side. Um, the You'll definitely notice the difference between the English drivers and the French drivers. The French are a lot more considerate of cyclists but then I think the cyclists in France are a lot more considerate, considerate to the motorists. Um, so that, that, that was one thing that I'd noticed and the roads are better in France as well. Yeah, I think I think the roads were a lot bumpier, there was a lot more steep hills on the first day, mm. it was more consistent with the hill, the hills and I think it, it was the longest distance as well wasn't it? Yeah. So it, it was the hardest day but the weather was quite kind to us so we didn't have that much headwind, we didn't have any rain, we had a really nice lunch on the first day really really nice and um, I think all of that helped soften the blow a little bit yeah so it wasn't too bad 
And was then it... when we got to France, it was a bit worse for the weather. <laughs> um, was it nice riding with a group of um, people that you didn't know? Did you find that difficult or did you actually find it quite um, inspiring to have other people around you? It, it was really inspiring. There was another group, uh, about 20 of them, cycling for another hospice um, near, near London, I think, I near, near Croydon, near the, the start. Um, and it was good hearing everyone's stories, how much they'd raised, mm. um, all the training they've done, how much weight people would lost. That was, there was so many people that said, you know, I've not done anything like this before, I've done some training, I've managed to lose like two stone, five stone. There was, it, it was crazy how much effort people would put in. Yeah, it was, um, it was quite yeah, inspirational, yeah. you know, a lot of these people that have never cycled before and they decided to take on a 300 mile challenge for charity, it's crazy. I know, I know obviously you didn't have that much cycling experience before, but you'd done something, mm. some yeah. of these people had never done it, you know. There was one couple I remember, um, well not a couple actually, a couple of ladies, and they did the um, tandem. Yeah. They did it on a tandem, and they were brilliant, absolutely yeah. amazing. They didn't even look tired the whole time. They'd done better than me. Yeah, we, we only saw them at the start, didn't we? And then later on at the hotel when we got back because we never yeah. caught up with them. So. <laughs> um, what was it like um, on the last day as you came down the Champs Elysees towards um, the Eiffel Tower? It was emotional, really, yeah. really emotional. We got to that end bit. They make you, you have to stop first at a meeting point. So everybody all groups together. And then you've got hundreds of people all together. And there's such an atmosphere. Everybody's kind of buzzing, and you know, wants, everyone wants to start the celebrations. But then you've got a ride from the meeting point to the end to the tower, and that seemed like it took forever. Yeah. Because we just wanted to get to the end, and we wanted to celebrate, and we were exhausted, and emotions were running high. Mm. But the atmosphere was just incredible. It really was. We see the Eiffel Tower for the first time as well. We saw it quite far out from the city. And when we saw it, there was like squeals of joy, like, yeah. oh my God, <laughs> there it is. That's right, yeah, and every, everybody was going through the same th emotion as us. You know, you looked around, everyone had sort of tears in their eyes, you know, they were smiling. Some people were crying because they were in so much pain. <laughs> but then when we all got to the end, it was worth it, wasn't mm. it? It was, it was amazing. And my mum turned up to surprise us as well. We had no idea she was going and she was waiting there with a big banner. Couldn't believe it. I spotted her first riding along and I just see somebody that looks just like Vicky's mum holding a banner up and then all of a sudden I realised hang on that is Vicky's mum <laughs> <laughs> just couldn't believe it just standing there she got there the night before and decided to make it a little weekend break it was lovely um is this a challenge that you think people who haven't done cycling before could take up as well as those who are hardened cyclists yes. definitely yeah 100% um it's not as hard as you expect it to be, although you might argue that and say <laughs> that it was hard. But when you're with, the way I'd explain it is, you're with a group of people, all different abilities. You've got some that have never ridden before, some that are semi-pro. You know, you'll have people that are finished hours and hours before you because they're so fast. But then you've got other people that are really slow and they're at the back of the, of the queue. They plod along, you know, they don't mind. They just get, get it done when they get it done. So there's no pressure, you know, you haven't got a race to get to the, the finish line. There's no prize for the first, you know, or anything like that. So there's no pressure. And when you meet at the halfway point for the lunch break, everybody's still there. You know, you, you have big groups of people. There's a lot of um, support. Mm. You know, people helped us when we had problems with our bikes, you know, punches and things. People will stop and help you out. So I think for anyone who's scared of taking up a challenge like this, I think, there's no need to be.